Ray Stevenson, the Irish actor who's arguably best known for playing Volstagg in Marvel's Thor movies, has died at the age of 58, Variety has confirmed. Details about the cause of Stevenson's death are unknown as in the making of this video, but the news was verified by his publicist. The actor was born in Northern Ireland in 1964 and moved to England with his family when he was 8 years old. He attended the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School, graduating when he was 29, before pursuing a career on the screen and stage. After making a name for himself on shows such as A Woman's Guide to Adultery and A Dwelling Place, Stevenson got his big break in 1998's The Theory of Flight. The rest is, as they say, history. In 2004, he joined the cast of King Arthur, and his Hollywood career took off from there, leading to roles in some of the most high-profile franchises in history. Stevenson had a storied career in film and television. He was a renowned character actor whose list of credits boasts everything from blockbusters to hit TV shows, but his work with Marvel helped turn him into a household name. He played the Asgardian adventurer Volstagg and Thor in the sequels The Dark World and Ragnarok. The character was a member of the Warriors Three and friendly with the titular Norse god and his brother Loki. It is not wise to keep two Infinity Stones so close together. Volstagg isn't the only Marvel role that Stevenson brought to life, though his first foray into superhero movies wasn't as family-friendly as the Thor films. In 2006, he portrayed Frank Castle in Lexi Alexander's ultra-violent Punisher Warzone, an underappreciated actioner that has gained many fans in cult movie circles. Stevenson also had a recurring role in the Divergent series and the Scott Atkins-led Accident Man saga. Most recently, the actor played the antagonist in RRR, and fans can look forward to seeing him posthumously in the epic drama 1242, Gateway to the West. Stevenson also deserves to be remembered for his television work, which includes Star Wars projects and acclaimed historical dramas. He famously played the Roman soldier Titus Pullo on HBO's historical drama Rome from 2005 until 2007. The series won seven Emmy Awards during its 22-episode run, and Stevenson's performance certainly contributed to its success. The actor also appeared in a few episodes of Dexter back in Season 7, playing a Ukrainian mob boss. The later seasons of Showtime's serial killer drama might not be the most well-regarded by fans, but Stevenson's performance was praised and even earned him a Saturn Award nomination for Best Guest Actor in a Television Series. Stevenson had a knack for playing compelling bad guys, and he brought those sensibilities to the galaxy far, far away for Star Wars Rebels and The Clone Wars, which saw him voice the treacherous Mandalorian Gar Saxon. Fans of the sci-fi franchise can also look forward to seeing him play a character on Disney Plus's upcoming Ahsoka series, which is set to premiere this August. Disney and Lucasfilm haven't released a lot of information about this character yet, but he is expected to be a villainous brute.